Update really on the campaign. Uh, hashtag Why Do Beagles Cry? Uh, there's quite a few of you now signing, which is great. I really do want to take this to uh, Parliament and get this passed because the toxicity testing is horrendous. So here we go. Let's have a look at what testing is all about and the severity that these poor animals have to suffer. They say beagles are gentle souls, bred for calm, trust and loyalty. But not every beagle lives the life we imagine. Some are born into cages, not homes, into testing labs, not families. Behind those locked doors, their lives are measured by something called severity, the legal scale of suffering. These categories sound technical, but for the dogs inside they mean everything. This is what severity really means for beagles in toxicity testing. Category 1, classed as mild. It sounds harmless, but it can still mean injections, blood draws, or being force fed a chemical. Pain is short term, yet fear lingers. Beagles are restrained and handled in sterile rooms, never feeling grass or sunlight. For them, mild is confusion, isolation, wrapped in routine. The first step into a world where life is measured by data, not emotion. Category 2 is classed as moderate. This covers most toxicity tests. Beagles are dosed every day for weeks or months with experimental drugs. They may vomit, lose weight or weaken as scientists record every change. They call it moderate suffering, but sickness and confinement are never moderate to those who endure them. When the study ends, the dogs are usually euthanized so their organs can be examined. Category 3 is classed as severe. Here the pain is intense or lasting, the body failing under constant exposure. Exposure to horrible tests, painful tests. If officials decide the goal is important, enough, even severe suffering can be approved. For a beagle that might mean seizures, internal failure or days without relief.